So hope you all are well and doing great. If this is your first time of checking out my channel, welcome. My name is Izinma and I'm a mom of two. I share videos centered around motherhood, lifestyle, fashion, hauls, reviews and so much more. So yeah, if that's kind of content you love watching, I hope you would like this video. Comment down below and subscribe to my channel. And also, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to check out my new videos. So I'm super excited to unbox this. This is the Louis Vuitton Alma BB inside this box. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. I got this from the Louis Vuitton store. So this is a Christmas present and um, guys i've been it's been I've, I've always wanted this bag here but <laughs> i was kind of saving for it i was saving for it so i had the speedy 35 classic the classic speedy 35 and so i had to sell off that bag because that bag was just um it was pretty much old and um, i had to sell it so i sold it for a very good price and i added just a bit more money and I got this one so I'm so excited for this I work for my coins and um, I wanted to treat myself to something really nice and this was just the one that was really appealing to me um, so yeah before I open the bag I just want to let out this disclaimer yeah that this is not for everyone like some people do not think that you know they should buy a, a, a designer bag I understand I was like that at first but I totally understand but there's a there's a level you will get to when you at least start you know working very hard you might want to treat yourself to something that you've never ever had so yeah so um maybe people in that kind of position you'll pretty much understand what i mean one good thing about buying from a brand like louis vuitton is that you will get um a return from for your investment like this bag is a classic and also it resells for a very high value um, if you want to check out louis vuitton on ebay or something the prices you'll see there are pretty much high so that is a very good factor before you buy a designer bag just look at what the resale value is and louis vuitton is one of those three brands that are the top 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 luxury designer brands that you can invest in um so yeah i can keep this bag for my daughter or i can even sell this this bag and it will sell for a very good value so yeah without rambling too much i know that you guys are here to see what is in here so i've already unboxed this bag um the packaging is upstairs somewhere um but yeah i'm just going to show you guys um what is in here so this is the bag but before i open the bag i want to show you guys the receipt so this is the receipt and this is the blue tag that came with the bag. The box is magnetic. So this is the receipt. Um, I got this bag from the Louis Vuitton online store. Um, so yeah. Um, let me just close my address here yeah, before I show you guys anything. Um, so this is like the return slip yeah this is the return slip i don't want to show you the front because the front has my address on there and this one right here this is the gift receipt um and it just says the alma bb bag on there and it came in this lovely orange envelope so yeah i'm just gonna put it back there okay let's put this here so and it makes a very good Christmas present, doesn't it? Just by the Christmas tree. Um, so yeah, this is the dust bag of the bag. This is the dust bag, lovely quality as usual, Louis Vuitton style. Um, so this is my Alma BB. So, so cute. I've always loved this bag and I've always wanted it. So this is the bag. It's so pretty. It's so gorgeous. And um, yeah, I absolutely love it. Um, it. It also has this padlock. I put the padlock here, you know, for decoration. But um, when the bag arrived, I couldn't find the keys. <laughs> I was going to give them a call to say, please guys, where is my key? Because the padlock only came without the keys inside the little pouch that I came in. So yeah, this is the key inside this place and you can close it back or you can leave it open anyhow you like but it's safer to close it yeah 
I don't use the padlock because it's a bit of you know time it's a time waster if you're using the padlock because you have to start you know opening and all that long things so yeah I'm just used to opening my bags without a padlock so yeah this one is the strap it has this single strap I wish they put in a bit more material in the strap I just feel like the strap is really skinny and not really I don't even know is the strap strong at all it should be strong I guess but it just looks like it's not so strong so this is the little pouch that the padlock came in so when I got the bag it was just the padlock in here so I was wondering where the keys were and then I looked and then I saw the keys so that is absolutely fine so this is the padlock in here is the gorgeous red classic Louis Vuitton style the gorgeous red and there's a little pocket here where I like to put this inside so the bag is neatly neatly um, made like the I can't see any faults I can't see any faults like there are no air bubbles anywhere inside the bag you know sometimes some bags have this sort of air bubbles where some part of the red lining will puff up nothing on here it's just flat and clean so this is beautiful and um, yeah it's got four studs here so that your bag doesn't scuff and it doesn't you know scratch or anything it's just um, very handy to have the four studs there and that is the bag so I've always wanted this bag and I knew that by next year the price of this bag would increase because over the years since the time I've wanted this bag so the prices of the bag has increased every single year so I just decided to close my eyes and just get it this year because trust me by next year maybe January next year the price will just pick up or something so I wasn't going to take the risk and buy it for a ridiculous expensive price it's already ridiculously expensive anyway but um, this bag you can keep it for your daughter like my little daughter can have this bag when she grows up if it is still in vogue which I think it will still be in vogue to be like a vintage style um, or if I'm tired of it I could sell it off like if I need money for something I can sell this bag on eBay or Depop or anywhere for like the same price I bought it so this bag has good value trust me it has good value just go do some research check out Louis Vuitton um, pre-loved Louis Vuitton bags and see how much it sells so I, I just need to keep the receipt the box the dust bag safe and I can always sell off this bag again and it will make me good money as well so everything is intact of course all of the, the you know the labeling and the print the pattern everything is intact it has Louis Vuitton on the studs right there so maybe I should show you guys a close-up view of the bag um, so yeah this is pretty much a close-up view so I'm so happy with the bag guys um, if you want to treat yourself you know to something that you like be it clothes shoes bags whatever um, I feel like it's very good for your mental health as well because sometimes you know a bag could make you happy it could boost your confidence like you could go for an event and carry this bag and you'll feel good for yourself and I love this kind of style because you can carry this bag in the daytime you can carry this bag in the nighttime as well it's a very versatile bag and it will give you good value of it for your money you know so if you use this bag every day you will literally be spending like one pound a day on this bag and I feel like it will pay off in future so yeah, I'm so happy with my bag and this bag will be like going out and about with me everywhere. Like I can take this to an event, I can take this to a nice get together, you know, or you know, just a casual, like if I'm going out for a casual outing, I can also wear this bag. It works for daytime and nighttime as well. So it's a very, very classy bag. and it's just so amazing it enters my, the crock of my hand easily like this maybe I should have shown you guys the strap so I'm just gonna put the strap into the d-ring right there there's a d-ring on both sides of the bag 
so yeah this is pretty much how the bag will look when you carry it on on your body like that so yes thank you guys so much for watching this video maybe i'll show you guys you know a styling video and i'll feature the bag in the styling video just let me know in the comments down below and i'll be so happy to feature that in the next video so yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys have enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments down below anything that you want me to share and i will do my best to get on it um, make sure you like this video comment down below and subscribe to my channel thank you so much again for watching and i'll see you in the next one